You can find these lines all across the city of Villa Hermosa. They are a sad reminder to the people here of the flooding. Over one million people were affected in the state of Tabasco. Many have now returned home only to find their houses and belongings destroyed by the water. Nine hundred millimeters, a small number in relative terms. But in the context of rainfall, framed within a period of four days in one place, it can be a devastatingly huge figure. In the state of Tabasco, Mexico, 900 millimeters was enough to burst riverbanks, engulf villages, force over 100,000 from their homes, destroy livelihoods, and endanger two million lives. In 2007, this sleepy haven of southern Mexico was brought to its knees by continuous and brutal heavy rains. As you can see the sandbags here, they were a futile attempt to stop the overflow of water from the Grijalva River in downtown Villa Hermosa. In response, Global Medic deploys its rapid response team to Villa Hermosa, Mexico. The group consists of paramedics and other emergency workers who have volunteered their time to deliver life-saving aid to the people of Tabasco. Equipped with an Explorer water purification unit, which purifies 64 liters of clean drinking water a minute, and 10 Trekker water purification units, which purify four liters of clean drinking water a minute, the team is prepped with a capacity to provide clean drinking water to thousands. And once they've had that container cleaned with the clean water and the aqua tabs, then they don't need to put aqua tabs in it again because the container is then cleaned. Oh. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's the reason. Just for the aqua. That's the reason for the aqua. Okay, in reality, the reason for los uh, for los pastillas is para la maquilla son por cuatro litros por minuto. The need is only for one trekker here. So uh, Robbie and Tommy are going to go with Amir. Um, and they're going to take them to a different place, just close to here, and set up, bring two, um, but only set up one if the need is for one. If there's a need for two, then set up, set up both. Armed with the trekkers, the Global Medic team reaches villages that have received little or no aid. So we're here today in Indeco, a little village outside of Villa Hermosa. We've been filtering water all day with the, the local people coming and filling their own uh, water bottles. We've been distributing water tablets as well all day to the local people. We've been running two trekkers uh, for about the last four hours. Well, the locals have been very helpful. They've been he helping grabbing some water from the river. They've been bringing the water to us so we can filter it. And then we've been uh, grabbing the water to bring in their own houses. As you can see, this is one of the areas that's been affected by the flood. People's houses are still underwater and they've had to move up to the road. The river started to rise. The water had nowhere to go. So it kept rising and covered our land and houses. We lost our crops, fruit trees, and our cattle. You are the only foreigners here helping us. It is very important for us that you take the interest and turn your eyes on to us. We are very satisfied with this new way of cleaning water that you have shown. Many of these villages use wells as their sole source of water, but after the rain, the wells were contaminated. This can lead to the onset of waterborne diseases and other forms of illness. 432,000 essential medicines have also been distributed. These will stave off waterborne diseases for thousands of people. Today we're here in Casa Iquidel at a temporary shelter that's been set up by the Ministry of Health to help the people that have been displaced by the floods in Mexico. Today we're here giving essential medicines to those people so that they can have the proper antibiotics that they need. Thank you. Okay, we're here today in Villa Hermosa, filling up uh, water bottles here to hand out to those who were affected by the floods a couple days ago um, to make sure that they had some clean drinking water instead of the dirty drinking water that's coming out of the taps currently.
there we go, 0 0.03 is our final result after filtering the uh, city water. Resolve. Sometimes it is all the victim of a disaster like this can have left. The floodwaters in Tabasco were a cruel reminder of how fleeting livelihoods can be. The villagers living on the banks of rivers throughout Tabasco lost their homes, their belongings, their loved ones. On behalf of all the people of Tabasco, I say thanks for all the clean water that you bring and all the medicines. Thank you for this donation, for my people, for Mexico, for, Mexico, for, for people needed and other disasters. Thank you, thank you very much, Global Medic. Thank you very much. <laughs>